Oh, what'd you find, Noah? Ooh, cool I like it. I like it for my back patio, if not for resale. $5.99, we're gonna get it. So lots of ocean Can stuff here. <laughs> Do you want some pants like that? No. Can you rock some pants like that, Noah? Well, hello. It is a Monday morning here in Las Vegas, and I'm doing something I don't normally do, and that is hitting Goodwill on a Monday morning, which is now their $1 uh, last week's color day, sale day. So it's a big sale day, and I'm not a fan of sale days. I'm not a fan of crowds, and I can tell by the parking lot, it's gonna be a little busy in there. But that's okay, because I've got my personal bodyguard here. Oh, <laughs> there he is. Uh, uh, Noah's coming shopping with me today. Because we had to go do a little banking, go get our money for our friends at the IRS. And, and I wanted to go. And he wanted to go. So there you go. So even if we don't find a whole lot, I'm here. That's right. That's right. <laughs> he does read your comments. He knows you guys like when he goes shopping with me. All right. So we're going to get in there and we're going to see what we can find. Let's get shop done. Let's get shop done. Oh, door almost closed on us. Okay, Noah, which is our lucky cart? Which one is it? Noah's gonna grab the lucky cart. Let's go. All right. Ooh, these are nice little, ele oh, I thought it was a pair. It's not, it's only one. Little elegant glass. Green. I think green is the one color. Green is the $1, $1 color. color. So this is from the depression area, area, era. It's called elegant glass. I would have to go look in my book to figure out what that pattern is, but just a single little glass like that is just not going to bring much. So I leave those behind. The music isn't loud today. It isn't. It's quite pleasant. These are kind of nice with this little gold band. They actually have a little gold band in them. And they are red tags. But I have plenty of glassware to deal with. So, um, and someone asked me uh, about shipping glass and how do I do all that stemware and really you know you wrap each one individually and you can use things like pool noodles and such on the stems and protect them flip one of those over let me know who uh those are by Noah certified international uh Merc J Mercado those are interesting uh again not something I want to ship but they're pretty cool yeah they are pretty cool Nice, rich, deep, like still life oil colors. So yeah, I'm not a, I'm not afraid of the uh, the stemware. I'm not afraid of it. I will ship the stemware. Ooh, that's a nice big uh, cherished teddy set up there. Oh, those look like I was gonna say those look like cherished teddies too. That's a hobbyist piece. How can you tell? Uh, you know what? It's just hobbyist pieces just they just have a look they're not that really high quality fine um, fire glazed and I'll try to find a better example of the difference here as we go this looks cool it does look cool I don't do clocks though clocks have moving parts that they can be perfectly fine when you list it and sell it and then once you ship it it can rattle loose Arlene Boldman that's kind of an interesting art pottery piece. It's a butterfly. It's hard to see here on the camera, but there is like the etching like etched, yeah. yeah, of a butterfly with a little filigree. I don't know if it's supposed to be a napkin holder. I think it is. I think it is too. And it's only $2.99, so we're gonna grab that. All right, we got something in the cart. This has a music box in it. I don't know. Um, it was made to put some kind of a figurine on Wind that up, Noah. Let's see if it plays. Yep, there you go. It works. It does. Oh, it's to dream the impossible dream. Does it like open da, on the top? Da, 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 da. Is it just a platform? No, it's just a platform. So you know what? There's 
There's things I can combine that with. So for $3.99, I'm going to get the musical platform. I suspect it came with the Cherished Teddy stuff because there's a lot of like the display pieces for the Cherished Teddies, like this little circus with the little circus platforms. So somewhere in here is probably, you know, a Cherished Teddy pieces that would have gone with that. This is obviously somebody's Cherished Teddy collection. Cherished Teddy. Ooh, this is cool. What is this? It is all really intricately beaded. Just a cool beaded orb thing. And is that a hobbyist piece? Um, it's probably a handcrafted piece. Hobbyist piece usually is when I'm pertaining to pottery. You know, the different in the ceramic. But this would be like a handcrafted beaded piece. And for $2.99, I'm going to grab that. Let's I'm see. These. The little tiles. I like these. They they're look expensive. like they probably came from like home goods or something. They're cool. Yeah, they're resin. I can tell you for sure they're resin. They're not even like a true tile. Yeah, I like the way they look though. Oh, that's they're, interesting. They're but you like each red tag. Do you like the way that they look? All right, we got some Christmas cherished teddy. We've got the interesting little peacock. Feathers art there. It's kind of raggedy. I was going to say, I thought maybe this frog sat on there, but I think a different frog sat on there. Skipped over the mask. Oh, yeah. Let's skip over that mask. <laughs> let's look at the little um, tin. It's really, really dented up. Or it might be a tempted by that one, but it's, it's pretty dented. All right. Any glassy babies, Noah? Any glassy babies? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I don't. It's a cool little mug though. I think we're going to score on glassy baby today. Ooh, that has no weight to it. Ooh, this is one of those window bird feeders. Does it have everything in there? I'm trying to entice the birds to come to our house. They're not not so apt to come. It's only two. It's all in there. It's two ninety nine. Yeah. What does it look like out of there? It looks like that, and we're gonna get it. All right. Easter Easter is well picked over now, since Easter is over. This is a nice little um, rocking horse. He's not. He's he's not old. Uh, he's just a nice little decorative piece and he is missing his tail uh, which is a big no-no so we're gonna leave him this piece is a big, he big really no -no. really needs a tail all right let's see what, you didn't like this little piece nope well, what's this <laughs> it is cute just not something i'm looking for for resale today Gotta be a little picky now. I've had a really, really good weekend. So in order to get everything processed and done, I gotta just stick to some really good stuff today. Let's see what we got in here. Looks like something cute, but it's only the rings. It's not the, okay, it's not the ornaments themselves. See, that's important if you just went by what was on the outside of the box, you would think this whole set was in there, but it's just the rings. Here's another box that I'm really hoping that's in there. It looks like a Charming Tales. It is. Let's see if he's in there and intact. Oh, <gasps> oh, I already see broken resin. Darn it. I see him. He's already broken. He's broken on his face too. I mean, judging by the fact the packaging was on top and yeah. around. Yeah, that's a bummer. That's never a good sign. It's a bummer. It's a bummer. Which means he might have been in one piece before people. Shot he might him. have. You never know. Or he might have been donated because he wasn't in one piece. Cool Santa bucket. Florida. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that doesn't reflect. That doesn't look like Florida. Florida. They don't get snow in Florida. 
must mean something else. The shelves are uh, pretty bare today. Goodness. Well, you know, a lot of that has to do that yesterday was Easter, so they weren't restocking. This is kind of a cool piece with a mermaid, and it's made by Rustic Marlin, handcrafted in USA. So for $2.99, I'm going to pick that up. Oh, what'd you find, Noah? Ooh, I like it. I like it for my back patio, if not for resale. $5.99, we're going to get it. And then this is a piece of coral, but it's not the real thing. It is fake coral, but fake coral still sells. So for $3.99, even though that's a threshold, I'm still and, getting that. And we can decorate if we can't sell it. Uh, absolutely, that can go in my own decor. Um, I don't feel this way, but I'm pretty sure that Carrie, that does. Carrie is a mermaid now. Heck with the previous life stuff. So lots of ocean Green stuff power. here. <laughs> oh, Noah, you make me giggle. Got a chicken. It's cute. Nothing too exciting. Little knife. It's supposed to be a key holder. Or if you have knives that hold onto this. Well, there's, you wouldn't normally put a knife on a hook like that, but what do I know? It looks like a knife to me. I mean, it does look like a knife. Yeah. Keep calm. It's just a turkey. <laughs> a lot yeah. of clocks today. There is a trophy clock. A lot clock, of nice clocks, but. But I see this. Ooh, they just brought out a new cart of stuff. All right, this is really cool. This big piece of burl wood. They're calling it a pen holder on that tag. $9.99. Pens in here. I'm pretty sure that's a $25 to $30 piece all day long. So we're gonna grab that. So they just brought out a fresh cart of stuff and this is what I grabbed off of it. It's a really cool um, set of bamboo made in Jamaica, but it's a pitcher and cups is that, is that, is for $7.99. Yeah, it says Jamaica. Jamaica, man. All right, we got more cherished teddies. This is a... What did I skip over? <laughs> it's, it's okay. He likes it, but it's got a scuff. It's like missing some of its coasters. And I discovered about these is the little threads that kind of hold them together disintegrate. Discovered that as I was selling one. Write your dream and live it. Yes, sir. That's a heavy piece. Let's see what you are. Nothing. Just a nothing. This doesn't intrigue me. Nope. That does not intrigue me. Oh my goodness, look at the letters. Give me an L. Ooh, that has no weight. Give me an L and an L and an E and a Q and an R. Oh, and a C. <laughs> can we spell anything with that? I don't think so. The Q kind of messes it up. We can, we can make a cell. We can make a cell. There we go. Cell. Oh. QR. I was going to try and put cell <laughs> Oh, wait. But you do have a U to go with your Q. So that kind of opens up the possibilities there. Q, U, E, L, L, Quell. I don't know. Is that a word? It is. <laughs> it is a we'll word. go with it. Baskets. Okay. That is a Lucite trivet. These are kind of like from the 70s late 60s early 70s if it was a different color I'd pick it up from my room oh yeah but um they don't sell for a whole lot but they do sell pretty consistently so for 4.99 we'll pick that up Man. give me an e, e. <laughs> so cool. all right i love it i'm here while they are restocking always a good thing because these shelves need some stuff on them oh, those angels are kind of cool those are funky candles they are funky candle holders. I'm just going for this. Oh, 
did not expect him to be plastic. He's plastic. Do they always have a little spike here? Yes, that holds your your candle on, so it doesn't so it doesn't melt. Slide off. off, yeah. Hmm. All right. That says my sincere thanks, and it's got someone's name personalized on there. Decorative things. Hmm. Wow. No, the shelves are a little sparse. A little bit sparse. I mean, stuff, so. I mean, a little sparse. <laughs> That's okay. We don't have a whole lot of time today anyway. All right, Noah, we are in the vases. And we're looking for a vase. We're looking for a vase within the vases because you know what the difference is? A vase is a single vase. No, a vase is a bougie vase. Oh. <laughs> We probably won't find any vases here. We will just find vases here. Oh, this is fun. Crow's feet secret elixir. Kind of like a little Halloween prop. What's the color? Green. <gasps> Green. One dollar. Score. Ooh, that can be touched up. I'm getting this because um, Carrie, cool. Carrie got some other little poison bottles. To use as Halloween decorations, so this will fit in. This will fit just perfectly. Fine. I want a little tree like that. A little tree like what? Like that. A, like a little lemon tree, rose as a rose no, like tree. A little like bonsai looking tree. Oh, a little topiary kind of a thing. Yeah, like a real one. I've gotcha. Seen people do some cool stuff with it, like make a whole little like. Oh, look at that. Forest out of multiple. Me think somebody was tag switching to get that for a dollar. Um, it's not that exciting. I'm gonna leave it. Don't Ooh, switch tags. Ooh, shells, shells. Do we have any Hermy shells in there? Mm, I don't see very many that would qualify. No, the crab is bigger than my hand. Yeah, no, that's really pretty. Conch shell and uh, not conch. Um, cowrie, cowrie shell. In I there. What type of shell that is? I want a real cowrie. That's going to be one of our next creatures that we add. Is a real cowrie. All right, nothing exciting in those. Or cow, cow. It's a snail. It's a kind of snail, and it lives in a shell just like that. So he doesn't like this one's squishy. But we'll get you something like I kind of. I'm kind of digging that, but not. I don't really like the lilies. I like the purple flowy stuff, but I can pass. All right, we're in the plastics. We've got some. Skull cups. Oh, these! I bet these lit up at some point. Oh, they still do. Look at that. They're lighter, lighter upper skull. You get these at a lot of the casinos and the restaurants. Little LED cups. It's nice that those aren't ruined yet. A lot of times they get put through the washing or the washing machine, <laughs> the um, dishwasher, and then they are ruined. They don't, yeah, don't light up don't anymore. Don't put your dishes in the washing machine. Yeah, don't put your dishes in the washing machine. That probably wouldn't go so well. <laughs> oh goodness, goodness, goodness! I just found all these really cool organizing storage boxes for three dollars each. I am going to keep these. See a cute little teacup and saucer here for three dollars. This is an older piece. It's got the Moriage on it, which is the little raised beaded paint. Um, it's probably like a little Nippon. It looks like Nippon. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that up for three dollars. All right, these look newer. Like when I say newer, I don't mean like current new but I mean like not like the piece that I just, I just picked up. Hands. Did you just get glittered? You just got glittered. Um, these are Harmony House Starlight. Priced right. Priced right. I don't really deal in a whole lot of this stuff though so I'll leave those for somebody else. Oh look and there's more of it. Oh there's lots more of it. It's like a whole set got donated. A whole lot of sets got yeah. donated. No, it's one. It's like one set of dishes that 
It's got multiple pieces. Them. Yep, well, that's how it used to be. This looks like a courier and Ives. Royal China Company, conventional and microwave oven approved. Dishwasher safe. So you can wash it. But it's like a courier and Ives scene. Not super exciting. I bet the plates, there's probably plates over here too somewhere. Lots of the smaller plates. Although somebody might have already just picked up all the dinner plates. Because those would probably have the most value. It's kind of a cool oh, piece. Snails. Those are snails. No tortoise though. Hand painted by in Zimbabwe by Victor Mathumbani. Penzo, 2000. No that. A lot of crazing, but that's a super cool piece for $1.99. I'm going to grab it. All right. Well, even though the store is a little sparse, we're finding some good stuff like this set. This is supposed to look like Talavera, but it's definitely not. What's Talavera? It's a Mexican pottery. Oh. Unfortunately, those cups are really, really crazed and stained. And, and there's three saucers, two cups, and one sugar. It's kind of, it's kind of a mishmash a mess. mess. What does that say? Coffee. Aw. Christ offers forgiveness for everyone, everywhere. I like my book boyfriends dark and broody. <laughs> okay. I think it's broody. But I have no idea. I don't I can't read it. It's it is what it is. And it's there's very, very small. Thing. Oh there's Carolyn's mug. I have a very dear customer named Carolyn. Hello Carolyn. If this wasn't chipped I was going to get that for you, but it's got a big chippy on it. I was going for the elephant. Oh. We'll look at that one too, but I, was saying, I saw the elephant, California Trail Center. I have no idea what that means. Huh. Okay. Some interesting things. Cool. That is a piece of art pottery, that but it looks, it looks like it might be like a student piece. With these little suns, but you know who would like this? You know who loves this stuff made with love? Carrie. And she likes suns too, so I'm gonna grab that for Carrie. All right. You are the best. You are the, you are the best, Noah. No, you. No, you. Ooh, these. <laughs> these are very interesting. Are they all part of the set? It says 69 on there. I think those might be from 1969. They have almost like an Italian pottery uh, feel to them, mid-century, although 69 is moving out of the mid-century period, but still kind of has some of those elements. These are $3 each. I am going to grab those. All right, let's see what the glasses have to behold today. Oof. I don't see anything exciting, do you, Noah? Oh, nothing, nothing exciting except for these. Ooh, we both saw them at the same time. You see the problem, though? Dirty. They, no, they're, they're stained not like the color of the glass and these have probably been through the dishwasher several times and that's all coming off of there if they weren't stained they'd be a good piece yeah if they? those were actually like cut to clear those would have been phenomenal uh these are not etched they're just oh wait they got a name on them though they are what does it say i cannot read that i cannot read that see it isn't just my eyes people not just my eyes Something. Hard to hold it still. It's so small. Has? Has? I don't know. I don't know. They're pretty, but um, I'll leave those for somebody else. This is one of the Mikasa Cheers. You want all four of those to make those worth selling. And there is only one. 
probably why someone donated it. This looks very mid-century. Let's see what this says. It's $3.99. Berlin. Kaiser Wilhelm, obviously German. It's four dollars. It's not really my thing. I remember you picked up this game. I got that comes, for comes, Jordan. Yeah, it comes with. A I got tower that game for games. Jordan. <laughs> like, I don't play Drunken Tower. I'd rather just play Jenga. There you go. That is a really cool tidbit tray with the rings. I don't know, again, who makes this one. I haven't had time to really study glass for a while. The key is in this shape of this handle right here. And then, of course, the rings. I would search rings. In fact, I'm going to try to find it quickly and put a comp in the corner, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. These are interesting. They are pressed glass. They are not cut glass. You What's can tell that. Difference? Well, you can tell that because they're not sharp. You can tell that they were they were put they into were a mold into and pressed into shape versus oh. the, the really intricate cuts from cut glass that are just super sharp. And then there's different qualities of cut glass too, like your American Brilliant is really thick and sharp, sharp, sharp. That is that is the clue. So you could hurt yourself if you yeah, put well, your hand on it? It's gonna feel like you're gonna hurt yourself. This is kind of a cool piece, but again, I don't know. Who makes it either it just has a nice look to it but we will leave that I see <laughs> a cute little trinket dish with footprints for $2.99 stuff there on the bottom I love to give this kind of stuff away I am going to get this one to give away and then this is a little yeah for decorative use only not for food that's a, a newer piece with some lead in there somewhere. Science experiments. Science experiments. <laughs> Ooh, nice, nice butter dishes. Since we're still like, look at a real size butter dish, Noah. A real size butter dish. Wow. I don't like this one though. I don't like it's it. Too square. I know. I don't like it. And I'm still holding out for one that I love. We'll find a tortoise one someday. Well, I got my tortoise one, and now I'm well, like thinking. What if there's a butter dish that is like a tortoise and you take oh, the shell off you and think, butter inside? Oh, you think that exists? Somewhere. I'm not sure that exists, but that would be pretty fantastic to that find. Cool. Ah, yeah, I would be all over that. You know that. But I might have to settle for something a little bit more realistic. Woo! My hand hit that. Ooh. And it says there's something underneath there. That's Indiana glass. Has somebody hung it to the wall? I was going to look at this made in China. Or did someone hang it from the ceiling? It looks like these No, honey. That just fits on there and then there's the hook for how it sits on a nail. <laughs> Why would you want to do that? Ah, uh, because it was a thing. It was a thing. We're in the kitcheny bits. She's handed me the camera so she can go off and do something. So I'm here looking through and for the most part I'm looking for utensils. Not quite like this. I want something like plastic or wood because I've been scratching one of our pans by using bad uh, utensils. And that's not good because it's a nice pan and I don't want to I don't want to scratch it. So yeah, using metal. It's easy to clean but not fun to use. Not seeing a whole lot else though seen a whole bunch of like weird things like uh, this I have no idea what this is it's like a salad blender but yeah we don't need salad blenders two of my favorite rows are the like bits and bobs and the office supplies because you can find a lot of cool stuff in these rows but I'm not seeing a whole lot Danny will probably be back through here and find a whole bunch of like sketchbooks and things for Rachel this is kind of Rachel's row. All right, so Noah covered me there for a little bit. And uh, I have no idea what he filmed, so that's going to be fun for me to go back and watch. He's got a good eye. He's got a good eye. Looking through the bathroom stuff for anything exciting, and there is nothing. Supplies section. 
pretty sparse. That's an interesting dog bowl. Look, it will catch the, the dribbles. Or you put dog food here as well. So the oh, like a slow, slow feeder. Down. Well, there is that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. Like Siegfried and Roy. The other row over there always has like bits oh. and bobs for we'll, like sports. We'll get there. We'll get there. I know we will. These guys, rest in peace. What These guys then? were icons of Vegas. They both passed away. This is a 2003 calendar. I saw their show way back in the day. I they were not. quite the performers. I don't think I was alive. When you saw that were show. not alive when I saw that show. <laughs> you are correct. So, this is the row Noah likes with sports stuff. Because he's on the hunt for what? Carding shoes and, shoes. and carding stuff and carding. Just carding, shoes. carding. Carding, 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 carding. Yeah. What? No umbrella, Noah? You disappoint me today. You totally disappoint me that you didn't That's ask. You didn't ask for an umbrella today. Do you want an umbrella today? <laughs> These are kind of cool. These um, kind of cityscape scenes. I mean, they're just kind of modern and like home goods. Yeah, they have Target. How much is it? But they're cool. They're very cool. How much are they? I don't know. It's probably on the um, frame, around the edge of the frame is where they price these sometimes. <laughs> on the bottom of the frame. No, oh yeah, $14.99. Yeah, no, those are cool. Those are nice decorative pieces. You need a bigger room. I think that's what you're telling me is you're ready for a bigger room so that you can have more decorating because you like lots of stuff. Alright. Ah, let's see. I don't want shoes. I'm not a shoe girl. I have plenty of shoes. Oh, look at Black Beauty. Big lacquer Black Beauty, but it's really scratched up. That's too bad. All right. Any little, any little stuff, Noah? I don't see anything. This would be a nicer painting if it didn't have sparklies. You don't like, you don't like the bling, the bling on the uh, Leaning Tower of Pisa. I don't know why it needs sparklies. Yeah, it's a really cheap. Hey, because some people just need their sparkly bits, because that's like just the way it is. is like here, here's more sparkly bits. Hand I'm painting. Not the fan of the sparkly hand bits. painting glitter. Noah's not a fan of the sparkling bits. I don't All right. Sparkly bits. <laughs> that's okay. Not everybody can be a fan of the sparkly bits. <laughs> I'm just digging the term sparkly bits. <laughs> Oh, he's broken. He's broken. He would have been cool. You picked up some of these, didn't you, in the past? Probably something similar. Wow, you want me to remember everything I've picked up, Noah? You think you think I can do that? I remember a lot of it. <laughs> All right, I don't see anything here for us today. Oh, look at the big stuff. Those are those are quite interesting. They're just oh, they have no weight. I thought they were going to be big, heavy statues, and they're like plastic. Look at that. Yeesh. Okay. That looks that looks pretty vintage. That little girl on there looks turtle placed out. And you know I had to look at it because it's got a turtle on it. Is there a date? No. Made in Nashville. Zoodle Land. Zoodle Land. Just the clothing of the is. kids. These kids look like they look. Looks a little 70-ish. Look at look at the plaid pants. Oh, no, turn it, turn turn Wait, turn. There might be something on the bottom. Yeah, but there's no... <laughs> Get your head out of my camera, boy. <laughs> there's no UPC code either. I think this is vintage. Wait, no. This one. Look at the pants. Do you want some pants like that? No. Can you rock some pants like that, Noah? Those are the pants that are like tight around the waist and they're like... Almost a dress at the <laughs> shoes. I can't believe you're analyzing the pants instead of just saying no. <laughs> I'm going to look this up. All right, Zoodle Land Turtle Play Store is in the cart. Um, just getting a real spotty connection here, but that could be worth oh, quite a bit of money. So make sure you stay for the recap where I will tell you exactly what everything is worth that I bought. 
Oh, this, I think this was here before, wasn't it? Or did I buy one like it before? I might have bought one like it before because I think it's really super cute. And I think I'm going to buy this one too for $5.99. All right, we are about ready to head out of here because... I have a live to do today. I go live every Monday at 1 p.m. and talk about something related to online selling. Kind of empty today. So I'm going to get home and do that. And uh, I don't see anything else grabbing my attention here. I may skim. I may skim through the textiles and then we'll be headed out. I found Godzilla. No, no, really. I found Godzilla. Noah, do you know who Godzilla is? I don't know. He looks a little bit small. <laughs> it's $1.99, but he's probably worth about 10 bucks, so I'm going to grab him. And then I I found a coyote. Is he a puppet? <gasps> is that your Folkmanis? Is he a Folkmanis? Oh, he is. Oh, my gosh. Score, What's score, score. It's a really high-end puppet. $7.99. You're coming home with me, buddy. I see Groot. I see little Groot. $7.99 for Groot. Oh, I love you, Groot, but I don't want to pay $7.99 for you. I'm sorry. You must stay. We are headed to check out with our little stash. Some personal, some for resale. And we got our but stay for the recap. We'll tell you what we bought, how much it's worth, and uh, what we pay for it. All right, that's coming up. fun little morning adventure, wasn't it, son? <laughs> I had to fuel him back up. We had to take a little a little run for the border at Taco Bell. What you got there? A taco. Taco. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it was really fun. Um, so at this store, the carts don't go outside, so one of the workers helped bring the stuff out. And I have a personalized license plate. And he goes, you know, between that license plate and that shirt you're wearing, I can tell you're groovy. <laughs> like, I like to think I'm groovy. I like to think so. So that was pretty fun. We need more people who are like that. Yes, absolutely. Because that gets customers wanting to come back. And... People like that deserve a lot more than they get. That's true. Very wise, Noah. Very wise. All right. With that, I'm off to go do my live show. Be sure you are subscribed and hit that little bell notification. That is especially important if you want to know when I'm going live because 
the lives don't like show up until sometimes it's too late. So make sure you set your notifications to all. So hopefully it tells you when I go live. But I'm pretty regular. Mondays at 1 p.m. we have a reseller topic. And Fridays at 1 p.m. we do a live sale. If there's anything you see in the video that you would like to purchase, you are welcome to reach out to me via email. I have instructions down in the description that tell you exactly what I need to make that happen. All that right. Way you, that way you don't have to wait for us to list it. You can buy it before people will be able to get it before you. So with that, go be profitable. And, and make it fun. Make it fun. <laughs>